Kyrgyzstan. In our visit in North Brittany, we chose Roskov as our home port. The marina is located just behind the ferry port and is extremely well sheltered from the Atlantic swell. Roskov itself is a small resort town that comes to life during the busy summer months. Beside Old Town, there is an amazing tropical garden and you can visit the nearby Ile de Bar that is located just in front of Roskov. The island has an anchorage, but we visited there by ferry. There is a strange bridge in front of Roskov with the other end dipping into the water. At first you think that the architect had some wine before coming up with the plans, but it is actually a really clever way of getting passengers embarked on ferries at all stages of tide. <laughs> Morlaix is located a few miles upriver from the sea and as usual in this part of the world the access to town is limited to high water only. We passed the Chateau du Doro and started the engine at the river entrance. Riverside was really beautiful and our arrival at the lock of Morlaix was spot on. The town of Morlaix is dominated by massive viaduct for trains passing over the valley and there is also quite a nice old town as well. With the tide out, we once more recognized the importance of following the marked fairways. The deep part of the river is actually quite narrow during most of the tide. By the way, we departed exactly at the high tide, just to be sure. 